Are you ready for your first scroll view challenge? We've got a sample app for you that will let you adjust the frame and bounds of a view. By playing with this app, you'll get a better idea of how altering those two properties works in practice. The app contains sliders to change both properties. Your challenge is to write the code to actually adjust the frame and bounds with those sliders. All of the outlets and actions have been hooked up for you. All you have to do is write the code in the IB action methods. Pause the video and give it a shot, then come back to compare your solution with ours. How'd your challenge go? Well, if you had any trouble, Jesse will walk you through it now. In the starter project in ViewController.Swift, I know I need to add code in the IB action methods in place of all these to-dos. First, take a look at frame X slider changed. This is for the X value. To connect the views frame to the slider, I set the origin of the frame X value to equal the frame X slider value. The frame X value expects a CG float, so I need to perform a conversion in order for this to work. For the bounds X slider changed method, I'll take similar action, this time setting the bounds origin X value instead of the frames. I'll do the same thing for frame Y slider changed and bounds Y slider changed. It's quickest to copy and paste the x-axis versions, then replace x's with y's. We're going to build this app to my phone because the simulator isn't running very smoothly right now. And we've got a neat little app here. You can play around with these values and see exactly what happens when you change the origin values of the frame compared to the bounds. When you change the frame values, the whole view moves around within its super view. I hid some animals in this scene for you to find. You can search for them by changing the bounds. When changing the bounds origin, you're moving the view's own local space, shifting the contents around along with it. With this handy tool for understanding frames and bounds, you're ready to start using Apple's own UI scroll view in the next video.